it's been a bit of a funny E3, I feel, uh, this year. It's like, nothing that's really, I was saying there's nothing that's like really, like I've got, I've got to buy that game. And ironically, the only thing that completely caught, caught me off guard was the um, Jack Sparrow thing in Sea of Thieves, which starts in two weeks. And I'm like, I kept that quiet. So that surprised me, but there's not been anything like, but there are games that I'm, I'm like, I'm looking forward to like this one. Definitely. This is on my radar. Good man. As I say, the showcases have been mixed. Some of the showcases have been good and some have been truly awful. I didn't think much of the Square Enix one. Um, I mean, the new um, Life is Strange game looks great. But I'm really not sure about that Guardians of the Galaxy game. If it's anything like the Avengers game, ooh, not looking forward to that at all. Not looking forward to that at all. Right, let's bring this up. Let's get this going. Zoo! Here we go, folks. Bring it. It's supposed to be over 110 degrees next weekend. Oh, my God. Hello, and welcome to the Back for Blood PvP Showcase. If you don't already yeah. know, Back for Blood is an upcoming four-player co-op zombie She used to work for IGN. Made by the creators of Left for Dead. Today, we're diving deeper into the new PvP mode called Swarm. How it works and what you'll be doing, maybe even a little bit of strategy. We'll also talk with Turtle Rock's lead game designer on Back for Blood, Brandon Yanez, to help piece it all together. Before we get there, though, let's start off with the reveal of a brand new PvP trailer and see what it's like in action. Go for it. Some gameplay. For the fact this is coming to Game Pass as well in October, we're, we're streaming this. We're streaming this big time. Cleaners versus the Ridden. Oh my god. That's one down. When I was young, I climbed up to high just to touch the sun. Back off! On my mission, no prescription. Shoot for number one. Start a riot, won't keep quiet. I'm a riot. Heart is pumping, keep it coming. Better no. run. This is what happens when you don't stick together. I was born for this. Time to beat 351. Plays the bad guys. Hold on tight. Keep pushing them back. Hit the gas and go. Now I never live forever. I'm a tight boy's mind. Oh wow, even when you shoot those monsters, little monsters come out of them. Is it going to be grill weather then, Kuda? Time to wheel out that grill. I know we are next, next weekend, hopefully. It's Father's Day over here next weekend. I'm going to attempt to get stuff on the barbecue. That looked intense. So there you have it, guys. Back for Blood's PvP mode Swarm. To hear more about it and to take a deep dive into the gameplay and the mechanics, we have Turtle Rock's lead game designer on Back for Blood, Brandon Yanez. Brandon, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration of this new PvP mode and what makes it fun and unique? Of course. So just like our previous titles, we really enjoy bringing new ideas to the table while retaining the spirit of the genre that we're working in. So Back for Blood's PvP is heavily inspired by our previous titles that mix survival. Ah, <laughs> hell no, I'm gonna hide inside with the egg and a ton of food. Don't so blame me, dude. Our goal is to make a balanced <laughs> PvP mode with just as much replayability as the main campaign. So what's the structure of the PvP like? Uh, do you play in rounds? Uh, can you play as both cleaners and ridden in one match? Or are we swapping between them? We're still eating all the snacks from the snack tasting stream. Match. 
Teams of four take turns swapping. Sitting here, just ridden, stuffing your fires. The job of the cleaners is to scavenge supplies, find a good place mm. on the map to fortify the position, and try to last as long as they can. Mm. The ridden's main objective is to kill the cleaners as fast as they can. Um, so this is achieved by choosing the right ridden to counter the other team's strategy, using mutation upgrades, and by coordinating attacks with other AIs and players. As the round progresses, the swarm moves in, so this increases the size of the ridden attacks and shrinks the playable space, sometimes forcing the cleaners out of their favorable positions, right? So when a cleaner team is wiped from the field, the points are scored for how long they survive. Uh, then both teams swap, and then they go... Let's see if they can beat that same time. The team that runs the clock the longest uh, as the cleaners is the winner. Now, I understand you can play as all the different cleaners in both co-op and PvP. Uh, do you have a favorite character that you play as? So I have a couple. Um, I play Mom a lot. She's a badass with a sawed-off shotgun. She yeah. has a lot of survivability to the team. She can also instantly help teammates that have fallen uh, during battle. All of our cleaners have special perks, um, so that one is hers. Uh, let's jump into another trailer that goes a little more in-depth on the Riddens progression through PvP. Check it out. Beyond you. <laughs> Rika, Wretch, Exploder. Oh, that's the one that spews everything. Stalker, yeah, that's like the jockey in it. Bruisers. So there's more than four specialist monsters on this one. There's about eight. Okay, so Brandon, we just saw that each different ridden um, has their own variants as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm definitely their sold own on this. Mutations on each variant. So, can you expand a little more on these special abilities and how they work? Sure. So, at the start of each round, players can choose between nine playable ridden, each with their own uh, unique abilities. So, for example, the stalker can pounce a player and pull them away from their team, or an exploder can time their detonation in the middle of a group of cleaners and fling them all in different directions. Now, knowing that each Ridden has these different abilities, um, how do they change and improve throughout uh, a match and improve the Ridden's chance of winning? So as the Ridden battle against the cleaners, they gain points. They can spend these points on team-wide upgrades called mutations. Mutations upgrade and improve a lot of different things on the Ridden side, from adding uh, effects to their abilities. They might buff the common AI waves in size and strength. So the really cool thing is so they affect the whole team and they persist between rounds. So as a Ridden team starts to coordinate their upgrades, things can get pretty wild. <laughs> uh, what are some strategies that the Ridden team can take on in order to get a leg up on the competition? If the cleaners are really sticking together, you can swap to the wretch and vomit on their location. That's going to cause them to, to spread out, right? This is going to open up a whole bunch of opportunities for your other Ridden players to attack, right? So if uh, you get them to spread out and there's a stalker nearby, the stalker use the chaos to grab one of the cleaners mm -hmm. and drag them off into the swarm. The wretch's vomit nice. also slows their victims. So that's, if, yeah, that's, that's a good question, isn't it? Because I've said it's PC, one of those slow PlayStation. Would really be able to pump them. Another good one is. Do you know what? I might look that up for you now, for mate. A uh, cleaner to go revive their friend. They can use that as an opportunity to charge in and detonate on them, sending them flying and doing a massive amount of damage. Ooh, sounds pretty brutal. So, with that being said, which is your favorite? Sure, that comes up in a Google search before I even be typed it. It's pretty easy to pick up and, and play, and I have a lot of fun hitting cleaners across the map. 
speaking of fun, let's talk about weapons. Now, throughout the trailers, uh, you can see a number of different weapons. Uh, can you go a little uh, deeper into let's what have the a look. are and how they work? So uh, we really wanted to expand on the amount of choices the player had in Back for Blood with their weapon. So, of course, there's handguns, shotguns, LMGs, uh, SMGs, sniper rifles, and a whole bunch of other types of weapons, each with sort of like a unique character feel to them. Now, it says it is cross-play and cross-gen. Really so if you're like on Xbox One, you can play on Xbox Series X, PS4 overall. onto PS5, Absolutely. but so it says cross-play and cross-gen. Uh, Apparently that was announced two days ago. You find scopes, silencers, stocks, sights, all that good stuff. You can mix and match them, so there's a ton of options. Last Let me just check the article just to make sure. Weapon? Absolutely. So as I said earlier, I really, really enjoy playing mom, so her shotgun is definitely at the top of my list. Oh, that's a solid choice. All right, we've learned yeah, a little definitely bit about good how stream it all game. works, the cleaners, the ridden, the mutations, as well as how the customization Definitely works good for a VIP stream as so well, mate. Thank you so much for joining me, Brandon. Because uh, you could have eight people playing, couldn't you? Back for Blood's new PvP mode, Swarm. Thanks for having me. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this game. We're all really excited. Oh, I can't wait either. The good news is that you guys won't have to wait too long. There's an open beta coming up on August 12th with an early access portion on August 5th available to those who pre-order. That's all for today, but Back for Blood. That was really short more thing, but we knew it was going to be short. So stay tuned. Bye. There you go. I'm going to get the PC gaming show bit ready. Let's jump back. Yeah, that should be good. That should be very good.